just love to live a life of opulence and royalty. Anything? Money? Name it. Any amount. Power. Money. Affluence. Is that all there is to life? No <clears throat> matter the amount of money and gift you give to me, it can't amend my wounded heart, Daddy. What is it, my angel? Talk to your father. I wish you're the father I used to know. How do you mean? Did I hurt you in any way? Since we moved into this palace, you have completely changed. You've practically become a beast. A tyrant to your own people. Every day, people shed tears on your account. I can walk on the streets without accusing eyes and fingers on me. I can't keep a friend because everyone trembles at my presence. Is that the life you chose for us? A life of bitterness, sadness and cruelty. Where is my loving father that I used to know? Where is the peace, happiness and joy that we shared in wealth and poverty? Has the wind of royalty blown all that away? I'm still the kind, generous and loving father you used to know. If you are daddy, you won't maltreat your own people. You won't throw the elders in that evil cell. You won't convert people's wives. Where is your conscience, daddy? Conscience. Conscience. 
for the people that blinded their hearts towards me and towards my household in the past. The people that murdered my son, your own brother. The people that were behind my wife's death. No, 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 my daughter. This is no time for conscience. This is time for vengeance. Vengeance is for God, Daddy. Where is that God? Where is that God that abandoned me when I was humiliated in the past? No, there's no God between us. Just you and I. There is God, Daddy. And he's watching you oppress those innocent people. Turn your heart to him, Daddy, and leave the vengeance for him, please. Enough. Enough. I can grant you whatever you ask of me in this whole world. But discussing the affairs of this kingdom, I will not grant you. This topic is over. <sighs> You drag me to the bush. Thank God. I'm not ready to lose you yet. What do you mean by that? Don't you know that man? Mm -hmm. Hugo Mero Rawa. How he forcefully takes people's wife. Hey, For marriage. Hey, whoa. He is married to four wives already. Either of those wives are married to another man or due for marriage. But why would their husband allow them to get married to him? Huh. If you persist or challenge him, you'll be locked up in the palace cell or die mysteriously. God forbid. That man is evil. He has subjected this land to oppression ever since he started ruling. God. And God will surely punish that him. That is the Hitler of our generation. God will punish him. You never go scot free. I'm Let's planning go. of us leaving this village. But what I assure Igwe Omerora is that the native daughter who brings the rain should not be afraid of the thunder strike. His doom is near. Okay, let's go. My brother, that's my story. I totally lost everything. Hi. My business, my house, I was reduced to this po poverty stricken life. It is a pity. But you see, my own was the worst. Because I was not only duped. <laughs> I was arrested for the crime I did not commit. I served two years, two good years imprisonment. Obituary poster. She, she died in the motor accident. What is happening? The rate of that is happening in this land is alarming. All our young men getting unsuccessful, relocating from the good life in the city to the poverty in the village. Untimely deaths here and there. And the worst is, is this tyranny we are suffering from our so called king. Let's drink our Oh, <laughs> 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 
understand how you feel but I promise to be a better person and restore the peace that used to exist when your mother and brother were alive hmm? wipe your tears I have good news for you also the elders have been released <laughs> I was on my way back from the market when I saw some people working on my late husband's piece of land. And I asked them what they were doing there. They said it's you that sold the land to the employer. Yes, I did. What? You are in there. Henceforth, that land belongs to the new owner and not your late husband. Ah, your highness. How can you sell the only piece of land that my late husband left for I and my children? On that land, I and my children farm on it just to make ends meet. Please don't do this to us. That is the only inheritance that their late father can wear left for them. Please don't do this to us. If you take this piece of land from us, my your highness, how do you want us to survive? I, I'm not here for question and answer. Woman, if you want land to farm on, come to me next season and I will lease land for you for the season. Mm -hmm. As you can see, wait, wait, wait. As you can see, I have an appointment to keep. Your Highness, please, Your Highness, please, I'm begging you, please don't go. Please don't go, Your Highness, don't go. What is wrong with you? Let me go. Leave me alone. Let me go. What is your problem? Let me go. My fellow wives, do we sit down? and watch him abuse the value of womanhood? Do we sit and fold our hands and watch this tyrant who parade himself as our husband abuse us? No. no. Good. Chiyama. Are you not with us? Okay. Anyway, it is time we stand up for our rights. Time for justice. Time to say no to the abuse of womanhood. He can't continue to force us to marry him. All that must end today. We must live here today. Yes! Fellow wives, I don't know about you people, but I am in full support of this motion with all my strength and might. And I strongly advise that we do the same thing in one accord. Yes, we will. Let's go. We have to. We shall. Where do you think you're going, wives of Omero? We're leaving. Yes. Yes. We cannot continue as your slaves all in the name of marriage. We are tired of your maltreatment. We're going back to our husband's houses. I see. You have all gone mad. Guards! Take this swine back to your rooms. Move! 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 Get this side! Move! Where is the king? Where is the king? Who 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 is the king? That is the king! That is the king! Who did I manage? What was my question? 
Hey, do I really? Did it. Where is the king? Where is the king? You can my door. You can move me in the air Why was my boy you did it? Where is the king? What is it? Stop there. I want to see the king. I want to see the king. I want to see the king for a message from the gods. An important message from the gods. I want to see the king. I want to see the king. The great Ezemo of Ogugumir in Diago. To what do I owe this sudden visit? Hmm. Evil. Bloodshed. Anguish stink heavily around. Darkness hovers around. The gods are angry because the land has been discreted. The gods have instructed me to warn you, your highness, to desist from your evil ways and vacate the throne or you face the rats. How dare you walk into my palace to utter such blasphemy? Hmm. I am only the mouthpiece of the gods. Their message I proclaim to hell with you and your gods. Now, go and tell your gods to mind the affairs of the spirit and leave the affairs of this kingdom to the king. I am the god of my kingdom, the indestructible. I'm not afraid of your gods. It's only a little child that picks a ball of fire and mistakes it for a palm nut. No one challenges the gods. Do not light the fire that will consume you. Desist from your evil ways or death awaits you soon. I'm above death, old man. Death awaits you in the next full moon if you do not leave the throne. Enough! Enough of all this nonsense, old man. And leave my palace now! Hold Leave! The next full moon. The next full moon. The next full moon. Somebody. Uh -huh. Ada? Who, who, who is that? I don't know. It's me, Johnny. Mazo son. Good day, brother Johnny. Oh. Good day, Ada. Johnny, how are you? Uh, when did you return from America? I mean, abroad. Uh, eh? And how is my son on your mother? I hope all is well. That's why I'm here now. Yeah. What, what happened? My mom was shot by the police for his involvement in illegal drug businesses. I'm sorry. 
Ani eman kem. Ani eman kem. Ewo. Bo do yema. Hey. Bo do yema. 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 Oh, Gugu Meli! Hey, Kefa! Hey, Kefa, Zagani! Why are you going to go to Kufu? I'm going to go to Kufu. 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 Afya zalu de leo fe. Whom am I saying? What have you come to do in the sacred place of Ogugu Mele? The gods you cast and make jealous of his powers. How dare you show your proud and arrogant face here? I come in peace, Ezemo, and alone without my gods to prove my humility and obedience to the gods i've realized my mistakes of speaking ill of the gods and insulting you their revered priest here am i with a ram to appease the gods for my shortcomings please Beg them on my behalf. Solicit on my behalf. Because it is foolish for one to start a battle with the spirits. Solicit for me. For the abuse of the power they bestowed on me. I was in a terrible mood that day. All you said was true. And I intend to turn from my evil ways and govern my people with love. If they insist I vacate the throne, so be it. I see. You have proven to be not just a man with royal blood in his veins, but the worthy king blessed with wisdom. The fool seeks revenge and the wise forgives. The gods are wise, and I will appease the gods on your behalf. And tranquility will now be restored to Ndiago. The showers of good tidings shall flow again on the land. Come along with me for the sacrifice. My king, come. The great lion of Ndiago. I will forever remain indebted to you for this favor. Whatever you offer to the gods, you have offered to me. <laughs> I brought you a pleasant present, a sacrifice to Igunogu. As you demanded, the head of the great Ezemu of Ndiago, the priest of the gods. <laughs> you have done mightily, and mightily shall you be rewarded with great powers, thinkable. And remember, as much as your powers increase, so shall the blood shed as sacrifice to the great Igunugu. <laughs> I shall remain humble to Igunugu for the rest of my life. Long live your highness. Greetings, my majesty. 
how magical your beauty, young girl. Sorry? What are you called? Oberanama. Angwoma Angwo. There couldn't have been any better name for you in this whole wild world. My king has a unique and a delightful way with words. I'm honored. Praises are meant for goddesses and you have the aura of a goddess. Thank you, my king. <sighs> Who is your father? He was called one more. One more. Quite strange a name. Just like the strange way that you've enchanted my heart. <laughs> Sorry, you said uh, he was called... Uh... His leads, your majesty. I grew up in the orphanage not knowing my father nor my mother. Quite a pity. Must have been a sad and lonely time for you in the orphanage. Of course, your majesty. But your praises and kind consolation have restored the kind of joy I've never had in a long while. Yakwano, Yakwano, this girl is both beauty and brains. Tomorrow by noon, I want you to pay a visit to me, to my palace. As my king desires. Where are you going to now? To see a friend of mine. Today you're going to ride with your king to your destination. Come in. Thank you, my king. I'm honored. Come in, come in, come in. beautiful woman I have set my eyes on after my wife. I'll marry her and after her I will not marry again to show her the depth of my love for her. I'm glad I found the true woman I have been searching for. I'm waiting when you're true. Okay. Pastor Timothy, please, yes. before ushering you back to the palace, what's behind this important visit of yours? Your Highness, you are such a unique creature of the Most High God. <laughs> <laughs> An image of the Almighty. Thank you. That you love so much and have blessed you with so much wisdom and knowledge. Hmm? But it's so unfortunate, Your Highness, that with all the blessings He has given to you, have done to cost others. Your Highness, with the love he showed you, you've shown wickedness to your own people. Hmm? And the life he gave you, you have taken that of the innocent in return. Your Highness, I have a revelation for you. The Lord wants you to repent and 
turn away from your evil ways so that salvation will come your way. I remember your highness, the soul that sinned, it shall surely die. Enough. Who are you to come to my palace to preach about salvation and repentance to the king? Now you go and save your miserable soul first before preaching to the king. And go and tell that your God, that I, you will mirror one of Ndiago is not afraid of death. Mm -hmm. Mind the affairs of your congregation and not my kingdom. Leave this place now. Your Highness, I am only a servant of the Most High God, sent to save your soul. Eh? Please repent. Mm -hmm. Repent before it is too late. Leave, or I will throw you out of here. The Lord forgive you. Forgive you too. You were all witnesses to the grand wedding ceremony between the king and his new wife. And by virtue of that ceremony, he has become a member of this royal household and my most cherished wife. I would want you to accord her the respect she deserves. And any disrespect to her person will attract severe punishment. You may all go. to yourself for some times now. What's the problem? I don't like her, Daddy. Who? Your new wife. She looks evil to me. She's not evil. How can you say that of my wife? A woman that loves and adores you. Come on. I want you to reciprocate her love and respect for you. I don't like her, Daddy. I don't like her at all. Just come down, in time you will. Come on. is after my life and whoever it is is playing with fire because I'm above human destruction no one dares me because Omerara is above destruction where are you going to my lord? sleep I'll be with you soon The meaning of this is that kings are meant to be served by queens and not orphans. <laughs> really, queens indeed. You can raise your shoulders high above your head for all I care. But very soon, 
Your beauty will fade in the heart of the king and you'll be thrown to the trash like the rest of us. Mm -hmm. The king's love for me is genuine. Mm. That's why he keeps yearning for me day and night. Abandoning you, wretched witches. How dare you? Dare! Don't dare. How dare you even imagine of laying your finger on my jewel? Come. What are you even doing here? Both of you. My jewel. What happened? I was set in the dining before they stormed in. They started abusing me. She slapped me. Sorry about that. Sorry. You know what? Anyone who repeats this insolence will be stoned naked before everyone. Leave my presence now, both of you. I'm glad you know. Tonight, I shall destroy you. I am above destruction. I will destroy you. Mulita, you ought to have destroyed him by now. I tried, my queen, but I couldn't. He's so powerful. He has his fire that burns. It can't be. Never. Bible says that a throne is not established. 
by wickedness, it is by righteousness. O oh, evil king, I said repent or you perish. It profits in nothing to gain the whole world and you die. You die. You lose your soul. Your soul ends up in hell. You will be condemned forever. Repent or you perish. The wages of sin is death. So love. So love to your subject. Hey! Find out who is muttering that blasphemy and bring him before my presence immediately. times will I warn you to stop coming to my palace? I am sent to redeem the soul of the king. All I said is the truth, and the truth is life, O king. Fool, what's your mission here? I am the servant of the most high God, O king. Saints. Just to redeem the soul of the king, or you perish. Take him and lock him up. I have done nothing. I said, let me. I have done nothing. I have done nothing. The voice is of sin. is dead. A throne is not established by reading. Leave me. I said, leave me. Leave me. A throne. A throne is not established by wickedness. A throne is established by righteousness. Who righteousness? Repent of me or you perish. I tell you, friend. Repent of me. Repent now, O king. I said, you come, leave me, 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 go, go and tell the king, go and tell him that the wages of sin is death, he's death, he should repent or he perish, he will perish.
This strange dream has continued haunting my night's rest. What do you make of this dream? Wise or no? Your Majesty, the dream is a mysterious one. Your Majesty, how I wish I can make something out of it. Your Majesty, can I make a suggestion? Go ahead. Your Majesty, I would suggest we employ the services of of Fala the priest and the fortune tellers in and outside in the Ago. They may have interpretation for this dream. Then arrange for that immediately. As Your Majesty pleases. Your Majesty. The prisoner insisted that he wants to see you for something very important. It's about your dream. My dream? Yes, Your Majesty. How did he know about my dream? Bring him immediately. Once more, who are you? I am just a messenger sent to save your soul. Who told you about my dream? I knew about your dream before you had it. And this is the interpretation. The crowd symbolizes your people. The merriment symbolizes their joy of liberation from your tyranny. The casket with you as its cup is your death that awaits you. The pastor symbolizes your salvation also. If, O oh King, if you repent, you are a wizard. I've dealt with your kind before, and I will destroy you. Guards! Your Highness. Your Highness. Take him back to the cell. Tomorrow, by sunset, he should be burnt alive. You don't touch an innocent man. Move. Touch not my husband. Move. 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 I have done nothing. Move. I have done nothing. Move. It is appointed unto a man to die and after death. Move. And do my prophet's no harm. That's what suits his kind. That is no okay. I have done nothing. Move. He is evil. It is written. Tell the king. It is written. Touch not my anointed. Touch not my anointed. And do my prophet no harm. It is written. Go and tell him. Go and tell him. The blood of the innocent is fire. It is written. Touch not my anointed. And do my prophet no harm. Is it time for his execution? 
Your Highness. We could not find him. He, he disappeared. What do you mean by that? What did you just say? Are you out of your mind? We locked him in his cell, Your Highness, as you instructed. But when we went back, we could no longer find him, Your Highness. How can you let him escape? This is conspiracy! You will die! Your Highness, thank you, Highness. Please, Your Highness. I'm sorry, Your Highness. Please. Please, Please Your Highness. Yeah. Forgive us. Please. Please, Your Highness. A great danger is ahead of you. Death locks within. The enemy passed for your blood. Until a sacrifice is made, your life is in danger. I'm ready to do anything to defeat this death. What sacrifice? The blood of your daughter. The gods forbid it. Must be sacrificed to the great Igunugu. Not my daughter. Please. You can ask for anything else. My daughter is the only consolation I have since the death of my wife and son. Please. Hmm. The only substitution. It's your own life. You must offer your own life if she must live. You have only 14 days and 14 nights for the sacrifice. Hey, what can you see, Jay? Hey, what can you see, Jay? is my beloved daughter, my only child, but I can't lose her, never, I would rather die than lose her. like this for days now. Something bothering you? Something we can share? No, my angel. Nothing to worry about. Just the affairs of the kingdom. Affairs of the kingdom? Yes. Daddy, 
After what did you cut down your psychological stress over this kingdom affairs? Daddy, I don't want to lose you to anything at all. You are all I have. Please, Daddy. I've heard you, my angel. Yes. Are you sure? Yes. <laughs> so shall it be. Daddy. This is just a coffin. Come down. Come down. There are things I want to let you know. Like I said, this is just a coffin. And everybody is made to be buried with it one day. Your father is a great man. A great king. You may not know everything about me. Because I'm a king. I will die one day, obviously. And when I die, I deserve a befitting burial. A royal burial. I don't want to compromise with it, even at death. You and I know that the people do not like your father. They may not wish to do things accordingly when I'm dead. That's why I bought this coffin. It's worth fortunes. And whenever I die, I wish to be buried with it. There are things about life that you're yet to know. Stop sounding like this, Daddy. You're not going to die anytime soon. We have all the time in the world. I love your courage, my angel, but death is inevitable. Take this away from here, at least from the house, please. Akonye, the wealth of her father. Is it not me? It is 
you knocked very well because I know you can be very naughty. Yes, Your Majesty, I did.
going to? You're asking me? Go and ask your dead evil father. Or do you wish you continue to stay behind when God Almighty has finally made a way for us to be free from your father's evil and bondage? So you all want to leave me here? My dear, is the king not your father? Please go and bear your pains alone. Eh? Only God knows what curse has visited him. As for me, I'm done. of Undiago, for the gods had finally liberated us from the oppression and bondage of our evil king. Good enough, he has prepared himself for his death by arranging this worthy casket for his remains. We are going to accord him his due respect by committing him to Mother Earth before sunset. Our tradition says that whosoever commits such evil will be buried the same day he died, so that his remains will not see the new dawn. Now the youth of Ndiago, it's your own incumbency now to carry the casket down to the graveside for lining state. Now you people can carry the casket immediately. Carry the casket! <laughs> I'm 
at Thessalonia, never to mourn like those without hope. The Lord has done everything He wanted to do for us. It depends on us to choose one. That's why the book of John chapter 3 and verse 16 says, For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, that whosoever believeth in Him will not perish, but have everlasting life. You see, the choice is ours. The type of life we live on earth depends on our choice. And where we go after this life depends on our choice. If we do good, we will follow you. If we do bad, bad will follow you. You see, and this is the condemnation. Those who refuse to believe are already condemned. And this is the condemnation. That men have seen the light. <laughs> Like I was saying, that men have seen the light, but they decide to follow darkness because that these were evil. Because those who do good want to come to the light, but people that do dwell in darkness are those who want to do bad things. So we advise to choose one way. The Bible said also in the book of Hebrews that it is appointed unto a man to die but once. Then comes judgment. My son, my son, why did you disobey me? Who are you and where am I? You are in the presence of I am that I am. I sent you to the world to win souls for me. But you became a torment to the soul you were meant to save. How? You oppressed the innocent and shed their blood for your selfish interest. I only avenged what they did to me. Vengeance belongs to me. I will give you a second chance for you to return to accomplish your mission of salvation. Return. 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 And I know that by this time, from what happened to our king, Umerora, all of us that are feeling it, we take it as a lesson. It is for God to judge, not man. I'm sorry for all that I did to you. I was embittered because of the painful way I lost my wife and son. I was deeply wounded because everyone abandoned me in my time of afflictions. So I sold my soul to the devil. For the power to unleash vengeance on you. I've committed atrocities. I killed many souls. Including the king that was before me. I buried a charm in the village square to withhold your success 
so that you will feel the pains and sorrows that I felt. But like they say, every gift from devil is not without a cause. So for the powers given to me to cause harm to you and to remain untouchable, the devil came asking for something in return. He wanted me to sacrifice my only daughter. The only option I had to spare her life was to give my own. So I gave my own life. So I gave my life. But life belongs to God. And if God does not want a man dead, he can never die. In my state of death, I journeyed beyond this earth and was before the Almighty God. And I realized that He is the incomparable God. Praise the Lord! Hallelujah! Praise the Lord! Hallelujah! That His power is incomparable. God has given me a second life, not to continue with my evil deeds, but to repent and restore smiles on your faces and to accomplish his divine obligations. I do not wish to continue as your king, but simply to accomplish God's will in my life. This land needs cleansing from my evil manipulations. I know I am not worthy of your forgiveness, but please forgive me. Not because of me, your majesty, but because of God, therefore you believe in him. I will take you to the village square where I buried the charm so that we will destroy the charm together. My people, God is in control. You foul spirit, what is your ambition in this place? How dare you? The secret that which was sacrificed to Ikunugu. <laughs> His soul belongs to me. Shut up! You are a liar. His soul does not belong to you. His soul belongs to Almighty God. He is the creator of heaven and earth. The beginning and the end. He gave life and can take life. You have no life, so take because you give no life. How dare you challenge Igunuku? You powerless mortal. You will join him to death. <laughs> I do not fear him who has power to kill the flesh, but I'm afraid of him who has the power to destroy both the flesh and the soul and cast into hellfire. Huh? And his name is Jehovah, Jehovah God. He's the Almighty God. He's the Creator of the whole universe. Look. Then I stand upon the word of God as a servant of the Most High God. I stand in the name that is above every other name. The name Jesus Christ. I command you now. Fire! 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 Fire!
Uganda. My problems are about Kenza. not just a lesson to Ndiago alone, but to the world at large. Through this, I believe that many will come to the knowledge of the true God. <sighs> Glory be to God. You see, um, you said you want to join the Lord's vineyard, want to join the ministry. Yes, the, the Spirit of the Lord has directed me to that calling. Thereby leaving your rulership as the king? Yes. That's good. <coughs> well, glory be to God. What else can I say? There is nothing greater than serving the vineyard of the Lord. Huh? And spreading his gospel to the souls that are test of it. The only thing I will say is let the Spirit of the Lord direct you in all that you do. Amen. May His Spirit really direct you and be with you. Amen. Thank you. Glory be to God. Let me take my leave then. Thank you so much, Pastor. So you don't mention, you know, you've been of immense spiritual Thank you. Thank you. I'm glad. Glory be to God. Yes. Yes, yes, come in. National Deputy Chairman of APD come to do in my house. The house of someone that was abandoned in jail to rot. I am here now, Mr. Marara. Please sit down. Thank you very much. Well, Mr. Marara, I've come on behalf of the party and on behalf of the National Chairman to tender apology to you for the past. Mm. To what do I owe this apology? Well, Mr. Merara, there was a face-off between the Inspector General of Police and his personal assistant. And in reaction to that, 
the IGSPA confessed to several crimes with substantial evidence, which includes how the late DPC candidate, Mr. Nweba, bribed the Inspector General of Police to set you up over the kidnap case, which he went to jail so that he could win the election. Mr. Merara, your innocence has been proven before the whole country. It has brought you credibility, socially and politically. Alongside the party's apology, we also wish to inform you that even giving the ticket to contest for the post of a governor comes next gubernatorial election. You don't have to worry. The party will take care of everything. Thank you, Mr. Tenuwa. However, I'm already aware of the news. Who wouldn't? It's all over the news, including the dailies. Many have also called to congratulate me. Well, I accept your apology. Okay. But I guess it's too late now for the offer. I am a born-again Christian. I am not interested in politics anymore. I have another calling, and that is to spread the gospel of Jesus Christ around the world. Nothing can be compared to it, not even the post of the president. Well, Mr. Merara, I don't understand all this gospel, but I don't think you should let this good opportunity to slip away from you. You won't understand what I'm saying, Mr. Tinubu. It takes spiritual maturity to understand. However, I quite appreciate the party's benevolence. Please send my regards to the national chairman. I will, but I still want you to think about it. As the Lord leads, I will certainly do. Thank you, Mr. Harrow. My brother. Good afternoon, Pastor. How are you? Good afternoon, Pastor. Thank you very much. Yeah, yeah. What is it? It's my kid, brother. Hey, yeah, brother. how are you? Thank you. Yeah, please do sit down. I've come to thank you for the healing you gave to me when I was at the point of death. Oh, my brother. I wish there is a better way to thank you. Oh, no, no, no. You missed the point. It's not me that you should be thanking. It's the almighty God that healed you. I was only a messenger, a mere servant. Oh, I thank God for you. Congrats. Thank you, Pastor. Pastor, here is a check of two million naira for you. Use it to support the ministry. God will bless you. And continue to bless you too, Pastor. Oh. I thank you very much for this generosity. But I think this should not be for the church alone. I will advise that you give half of it to the orphanage and God will continue to multiply you abundantly. Continue to bless your good work, Pastor. Oh, my angel. Good afternoon, Daddy. How was the youth class today? Awesome, Daddy. That's good. Yeah. That's good. Um, I came so you take me out for lunch. Mm. Well, as you can see, I'm very busy, but nothing will make me turn down the wish of my angel. Mm? Just wait for a while. Okay, Daddy. What? Thank you very much. Thank you. You know, when Jesus healed ten lepers, it was only one that came back to give thanks to God and he was made whole everything about your life will be made whole in Jesus name mm, 
woman. My Ada? Ada? Hey, Papa, what is it? Uh, what is it again? Uh, oh, please, Ada. Uh, uh. Come and help me. I want to ease myself. <laughs> you want to ease yourself? Uh. Papa, can't ease yourself now. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. Papa, will somebody rest for you in this house? Every minute, Ada, do this, Ada, do that. Now, is Ada, please help me. You want to ease yourself. Papa, listen. I'm tired of your disturbance in this house. Oh. I'm tired. After all, I'm not the one that made you blind or crippled. I'm uh. going out, Papa. Ada? Uh, 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 uh. Ada. Is it me, your father, you're talking to like you, Ada? Eh? Huh. The Iroko has fallen. So uh, Madi has suddenly become a vegetable. Oh. 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 Who is that? Papa. Who is that? It's me, your brother, Ifani. Eh? Yeah. Ifani. What have you come here to do? Eh? Have you come to take the remaining life in me, Ifani? I've come to pray for you. Pray for me? Yes. No. No. There's no need for prayer. It's better I'm dead than remaining like this. We were all sinners. But the Lord forgave us freely. The Lord has sent me to pray for you so you can receive your deliverance. But before He delivers you, He wants you to give your own life to Him and receive His own life. Just acknowledge your sins, confess to Him and repent from them and He will give you a new life. If I... If your God will forgive me, why won't I confess if I did? He will. If I did. I'm sorry for all the pain I caused you in time past. Not just you, your entire family. If I did, my brother, I am responsible for all your misfortunes. Hey. I also afflicted your wife with the incurable disease that led to her death. If I will your God forgive me. I've forgiven you. Yes. And my God has forgiven you. He said, He that confesseth his sins shall obtain mercy. As you have confessed your sin, the mercy of the Lord will come upon you. Let me pray for you. Oh. Huh? Father, you said you will confirm the word of your servant. Your word has gone forth from your mouth in righteousness and cannot return unto you void. It must accomplish that unto which it sent. You sent me to my brother Amadi. You will not put me to shame. You said I should believe on your name and you will not put me to shame. He said, these signs shall follow them that believe. In the name of Jesus, they shall cast out devils. Mm. And when they lay their hands on the sick, they shall recover. Mm. I pray for my brother Amadi. Father, in the name of Jesus, Amen. let him recover his sight in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. And from the crown of his head to the soles of his feet. There shall be no blemish. Amen. Receive your healing. Amen. Receive your healing. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. I can feel it in my body. That is the law. That is the law working. Take a stop of it. Yeah. Take a stop of it. Yes. 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 Can you see me? Can you see me? Is this you? Can you see me? Is this you? Can you see me? I can see you. This is your daughter.
Glory! 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 Lord, I thank you for a day like this. May your name be blessed forever. Hey! To where I am, mama, oh, to where I am, mama. She I know me like. She I know me like. Oh, is it Jesus? To where I am, mama, oh, she I know me like. To where I am, mama, oh, to where I am, mama. Oh, she I know me like. She I know me like. Is it Jesus? To where I am. Mama, see no To what I am, Mama, oh, to what I am, Mama, see to no Masikwa kiyo, masikwa lo nyo, 